It is I, once again, Yusuf El Senad, and welcome to the very first episode of Novel Review Series, in which I'll review novels for you guys and gals. I haven't done this kind of series before, but it's one I've been very eager to share with you all. And the very first book I want to review for you guys and gals is Feel Good 101, The Outsider's Guide to a Happier Life by Emma Blackery. For those of you who don't know who Emma Blackery is, Emma Blackery is a YouTube personality or a YouTube public figure who has several channels, one of which is her main channel, Emma Blackery, Vloggery, and of course, I believe the third channel of hers is Birdie Boots. I don't know if Birdie Boots is still online on YouTube. Knowing Emma, it's probably still online, but Feel Good 101 was a book that was recommended to me by a very dear beloved friend and someone who I do consider to be my sister, my little sister, Carolina. She is a young lady from Lithuania, which is part of the Baltic region is where Lithuania is. This book right here, guys, as is told behind in the cover right here, the book won't change your life, but it might just help you change it yourself. That's basically how I felt after I read this novel, this very wonderful, insightful novel by Emma Blackery, this cool lady right here. Have a good look, guys and gals. This book did not taught me anything I haven't personally experienced in my life, similar to the experiences of Emma Blackery. That being said, our experiences are very different, though we have some similarities in what we went through, the hardships we endured. Her story is one that did inspire me, and it's a story that helped me see the world in a very positive way. She gave me a positive outlook on the world, and how not everything is black and white, how not everything is the way you see it, or how everything is not so negative the way I personally see it. Emma Blackery has went through a lot of things, a lot of hardships. She has endured so much pain that many of us go through in life from the hardest of times to the very good moments as brief as they are so Emma Blackery through all the hardships she's endured was able to see a very positive beautiful view on the world her view is while I don't agree with everything she said I do see what she's talking about and I do see the world has some beauty in it even if I refuse to see those beauties and accept the fact that this world is not entirely ugly and that there is beautiful things in it, including people pointing out that this world does have some good parts, some really good people who could inspire you and surprise you for that matter. So just like I said, I did not learn anything from Emma Blackery's writing, her story, and what she went through. I haven't personally experienced in my life, but her story did inspire me. Her story is one that really did show me a positive outlook on the world, proving that not everything is negative and not everything is ugly as I see it. Feel good 101, The Outsider's Guide to a Happier Life is one I did enjoy, one I did find a lot of humor in because Emma Blackery's humor is very visible in her writing. Her humor is one that can be strange, very outlandish, but also very enjoyable to read through. You can also find her humor on both her channels, which includes Vloggery and Emma Blackery, her main channel. I believe also Birdie Boots, if that channel is still up. You guys and gals can check out her channel for yourselves if you wish. I'm going to add the link for a channel down below in the description box, all three of them, if Birdie Boots is still there. Feel Good 101 has over 10 chapters, 10 chapters that may or may not change your life or give you a better understanding of the world in which you can change your lives for yourselves and how you can try to improve yourselves and not see the world as negative as I still do, but see it in a more positive light the way Emma Blackery does. Emma Blackery, while I don't like her humor at times and while I find her to be quite a hypocrite, I do see where she's coming from and she is someone who has become a key inspiration for yours truly on the internet Not in real life personally because I don't know her. I never met her before But she is a young woman who I am inspired by to an extent one person one dear beloved friend who I am inspired by is Carolina my dear beloved friend who I mentioned before yours truly was very fortunate to find a good friend like her who really did show me a positive light on the world the way Emma Blackery did, but in her own way. That's the key to this novel, guys. Our experiences are very different. We endure life in our own unique ways, and we overcome our burdens. Once we do overcome the odds and see the bigger picture to the world, as Emma Blackery point out, it's going to change our life in a huge way. It's going to give you a better understanding of yourself and the world as you see it. There's so much about Emma Blackery's story which I want to share with you guys and gals. I'm not going to go into great detail, 
but her story is one I do recommend you guys and girls check out. It might help you in some way or in some shape and form in your life and how you want to improve your life and how you want to get better like I'm trying to do right now and like she's still trying to do because even as Emma Blackberry wrote the book, she is still trying to overcome the challenges in her life, challenges which includes her mental illness and so many other problems she's still trying to overcome. Emma Blackberry is a key inspiration for me because she's an example of a person who's gone through so much and came out on top. She has gone from the lowest point of her life to becoming a happier, better person, which is what I'm trying to do. This kind of journey is very hard to overcome and there's going to be plenty of challenges. What's most important, however, is not the end goal, but the journey itself that counts, which Emma Blackberry points out very well. Ms. Blackberry right here basically describes life as not being a movie and she is so right guys because life is not a movie life will not end when you reach your end goal because life will go on your heart will keep beating until your time on this world comes to an end how you reach the end however is up for you guys and gals to figure out for yourselves one of the best qualities about this book is of course Emma Blackery's sense of humor I love her sense of humor and how quirky she can be and her witty liners because Emma Blackery has her way with words and how she can sometimes come off as outlandish and quite immature but she has a very sweet beautiful soul and a very good mind there is so much about her I love and so much about her that do annoy me in fact one thing about Emma Blackberry that did annoy me so much is how at times she can be very hypocritical or at times she can come off as very confusing because Emma Blackberry when she discusses her orientation her sexual orientation and the fact that she loves men but also has attraction towards women she loves men and is very sexually attracted to men but she also points out that she is attracted to women not in a sexual way but in a more intimate way it's very confusing to be honest guys because if you hear her video or read her thoughts in this book it's so strange to me to be honest because how can you be attracted to someone intimately but not sexually how can you think of a woman that way but not be attracted to them sexually I mean guys her story is very inspiring and very insightful but also so very strange at times. As smart and beautiful and very sweet as she is, she is quite strange and very bizarre in my mind, in my personal opinion. No matter how strange or how confusing Emma Blackberry can be, whether with her sexual orientation or the fact that she can be quite a hypocrite at times, but I love Emma Blackberry nonetheless. I love her personality, her sense of humor, what she endured, how she overcome her burdens and challenges of her life, and how she's become a happier person in the end. I'm so happy she achieved achieved a happy life. I wish her all the best. There is no better guide than Emma Blackberry's Feel Good 101. It has a lot of humor and so much to be inspired by as she details the events in her life that shaped her to the person she is right now, that shaped her to become the strong, independent woman she's become. Emma Blackberry is such an interesting, strange, yet fascinating creature, one I do love. Emma Blackberry's Feel Good 101 is a really good book. Do buy Emma Blackberry's Feel Good 101 if you have the time. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's because of my beloved friend and dear sister, Carolina. Without her, I would not have known about Emma Blackberry's book. So for that, thank you, Carolina. Thank you so much. I am so glad the very first episode of this new series, Novel Reviews, in which I review novels for you guys and gals, began with Emma Blackberry's book, Feel Good 101, The Outsider's Guide to a Happier Life. It's something I do recommend you guys and gals check out. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe if you wish. And until next time, peace out, take care. Adios, amigos, au revoir, and sayonara.